I'm here with Greg Merrick, CEO of Variable Grid. And what caught me, my attention about your display is single family residential. Right. Sounds to me like an alternative to what I'm used to in my own house. Yeah. Test the solar, test the power wall, test the gateway, all of that managing my charging speed or charge on sunbeams with, in conjunction with a fairly expensive span smart panel, a 200 amp circuit breaker that has smarts to shed load mm -hmm. if I'm charging both cars at 48 amps in the garage. Oh, you're probably not going to run everything in the house at once. Your product takes a completely different approach. Rather than a smart panel, you've got a device that's measuring, I guess, the power mains coming into the house. Right. And then, well, explain it to me. And doing what with the charger? Talking sure. to it, right, over an API. Yeah. Okay, so this is an EVEMS, Electric Vehicle Energy Management System. It is monitoring the mains of a house, mm -hmm. and its principal purpose is to allow a 100 amp service which more than half the homes in North America are running a 100 amp service, to install a 40 amp charger on the same panel as their 100 amp service. Nice. So what it's doing is it's measuring the current that's used in the building from moment to moment. It's figuring out how much the building is using and then all of the rest of it is able to be used for charging cars. And it can, this will support up to four EVs. So you can have four breakers or two breakers running to chargers, these are chargers, and it communicates with the charger using a protocol called OCPP. So if you're using an industry standard OCPP charger, and there are many on the market, this will control the rate of charge for the charger. And it's doing it over a Wi-Fi connection usually. It can also do it over a wired connection, like it over Ethernet, so you can... So there's Ethernet on the bottom here? Right, Ethernet's on the bottom. There we go, yep. So we can talk to them nice. over Ethernet or we can talk to them over Wi-Fi. This product does not require ether, uh, internet to operate because it's in the garage and it's just talking to your charger. But it does have an internet connection in order to supply information to the cloud so that your mobile app can get information about what your chargers are doing. So it, without connecting to the internet, there'd be no way for your mobile app when you're out of the house to tell you what your charger is doing right now. So this is reporting its activity to the cloud but it's using uh, a local connection to, to actually manage the chargers. Okay, you tested a few points there. So reliability, uh, a bad day, a winter event, maybe you lose internet for many hours. Yeah. It doesn't really matter that the cloud is down. This thing is still gonna know and yes. handle backing off in the charge rate on your yes, as EV long, in your garage right. appropriately, based on the mains. As long as this can talk to that, which is just your local area network. So this guy is probably Wi-Fi only, do I have that right? This is Wi-Fi or Ethernet. But chargers come with different capabilities, right? So okay. this charger is Wi-Fi and Ethernet. There are lots of chargers which are Wi-Fi only. But are you, we use this one. This is a but you don't have to use this one. You can use a a flow charger or a you know whatever brand of charger as long as it's OCPP compatible. Alright, so as long as it's compatible with that, you know, API to communicate. Right. You guys OEM or partner with someone to make this, or yeah, you we, actually make, we make that? We you make, make that. that. Okay. We make that. All right, and then a uh, very robust handle. I like the rubber finish. Yeah, I'm imagining uh, Tom Malagni in his videos. He abuses these things, throws them in a freezer, tests the cables. Yeah, that comes. Nice in drain the... relief. Seems really robust. It's a nice cable. It comes and, uh, with both NAX and and 17, J1772. So that's a. J1772 nice. we'll the there. Cap. So NAX now no, J3400 is what the official standard is, right? That's Thick. 1772. And then this NAX, one is, yeah. the NAX is the other. 30, yep. Thick metal clip here, a part that often breaks. So nice engineering there. Um, cool. Uh, what does this do? Just glow when it's charging? Yeah, it has some LED status LEDs to tell you the status of your connection to this and then the status of the charge. Okay, so for my house I did uh, two 60 amp breakers, so 80% of that for sustained charging is 40 amps. These do 40 max, yes. even on a third party charger. If you buy one that's capable of 48, you're, that won't let it do it, or how's that work? Can you do 48 amps? You configure this to whatever the breaker size is, and then it will derate it and charge this. You tell it both the capacity of this and the capacity of the breaker, and it figures out how much it can allocate. Okay. So if it's another brand like a Tesla wall connector that can do 48 amps, it'll handle it? Yes. Is Tesla yes. has it's, that API that you need, correct? Or most of them do? Well, or? Uh, it has to be OCPP. So Do you know if it is? I don't believe a Tesla wall charger is uh, OCPP. Okay. It's proprietary. 
Yep, that's an important detail. Yeah. Um, do you know which brands are by any chance? Or if you just Google EVSE OCPP, you get a, lots of ads for them. I mean, I don't know in the U.S. what brands okay. are in sell, selling. Here, there's Grizzly and Flow and Evo Charge and oh yeah, Light same brands. And, yeah. Awesome. Um, so yeah, in summary, and there's the there's the uh, spec we're talking about here. So yeah, in summary. Avoiding a whole lot of cost that I incurred replacing my whole panel and the labor of an electrician replacing my panel with a smart panel. If you really just want the fastest safe charging you could do in your house and not have to like buy a switch or you can't dry your clothes at the same time, any of that nonsense, dry your clothes. Just have your car back off while your clothes dryers run. That's right. That kind of thing. This will automatically handle That's it. Right. That's really the take-home message for this product. And I imagine it's be a whole lot cheaper than the many thousands that a smart panel costs. It's a fraction of the price. Fraction, yeah. yeah. Okay, and uh, you sell to the U.S. Yes, and Canada, all North American product basically. Yes, right? sort of here. It's it's approved for sale in North America. People are installing this in 200 amp houses too, right? Uh, Just probably they, more popular in 100 or 150. They don't have to. I mean, it depends how many chargers they want to install. If they just want to install one charger, then you don't need to use this because a 200 amp panel can handle one charger. Yeah, in my case, I was moving to two heat pumps away from natural gas and resist it, so I needed to yeah. smart, I needed to have some load jetting yes. for well, safety, yeah. Can, yeah. All right, well thank you so much for your time, Greg. I really appreciate it. You're welcome.